Never in the history of the State of Israel have world leaders gathered in such numbers to remember a period of indescribable inhumanity uncovered 75 years ago. For anyone addressing the World Holocaust Forum like the Prince of Wales this afternoon, the challenge was finding the words to match the scale of what happened at Auschwitz. The Holocaust must never be allowed to become simply a fact of history. We must never cease to be appalled nor moved by the testimony of those who lived through it. The lessons of the Holocaust are searingly relevant to this day. Hatred and intolerance still lurk in the human heart. In January 1945, Soviet troops rolled into a prisoner camp in southern Poland and realized they'd uncovered the darkest of chapters in human history. Of the six million Jews killed in the Holocaust, 1.1 million were murdered at Auschwitz-Birkenau. On my 10th birthday, they caught me and sent me to Auschwitz. There are not many who are still able to tell firsthand what happened at Auschwitz. Marta Weiss is one of the few who can and did so today. That sort of memory you don't forget, not if you live to be a hundred. Everything is remembered because it was horrific, beyond description. And yet, Britain's chief rabbi, who accompanied Prince Charles today, worries we haven't learned the lessons of 75 years ago. At a time when hate speech is on the increase, and we know that hate crime is only one step behind hate speech, at a time when there is an increasing them and us culture within our civilizations, these are negative signals we need to take notice of. And there were negative signals too among the world leaders over who did and didn't get a speaking slot here. Russia got one, Poland didn't and boycotted the whole thing, mostly because Vladimir Putin was claiming the Nazis had Polish help. Those concentration camps were operated not just by Nazis, but by their henchmen and accomplices in many European countries. And Israel's prime minister wasn't going to pass on the opportunity to use this stage to compare the threat once posed by Nazi Germany to the threat he now says is posed by Iran. I'm concerned that we have yet to see a unified and resolute stance against the most anti-Semitic regime on the planet. The commemorations move to Poland next week and to Auschwitz itself, the site of these barbaric crimes. But as Prince Charles said here in Israel today, just because the cruelty cannot be described does not mean it cannot be defeated. Chris Ship News at 10, Jerusalem.